All right, welcome to another episode of Man Tips presented by Talking Small Podcast. Today we're working on a Ream uh, model number RTG950 VP. It's a propane tankless water heater. I'm going to be replacing the mixing valve. Um, this is not the part number. I'll put the part number in the in the bottom of the episode. So again, I've showed this a couple different times. So again, the first thing you want to do to work on your hot water heater is go ahead and unplug it. After that, we're going to get back over here and do what we normally do and we're going to isolate it. These valves have been getting exercised a lot lately, so not as big of a deal. You're going to get a bucket, take the caps off. And I don't know why, but the hot one always is harder. And it looks like I got a little leak by on that valve. And the chain broke. Look at that. Woohoo. I'm going to have to fix that. Okay. So you want to start draining a little here. And as you drain a little there, you open it up some more. And I'm going to cut it back a lot so it's just dripping so it just hits the pan. Well, I'll come up and open this one, which shot a little further than I was expecting. Still a little pressure on that side. And it doesn't matter if you get a little bit in the pan. Um, the pan's got a drain on it, so. All right. So now that we got those open and drained, take a screwdriver, Phillips. You got one, two, three, and four screws to take off. And this is easier to not show it, so I'm just going to We got a little it. interlude in here. I'm done with the project now, so a little spoiler alert here. But here's the piece. So what the actual issue I was having is Aero 66, if my temperature was too low, if I had the temperature up max, which is 120 on my ream unit, it would cut on and then cut off. So you, in the shower, it would be like in, in minute hot water. And I did a bunch of troubleshooting and I called Ream, who actually is very helpful, so I do recommend their product support. But for Air Code 66, they said it was this valve. I replaced this valve, and spoilers, I got some hot water. Continue for the tip. the panel off, you want to locate the mixing valve, which is kind of right behind here. Um, when you look at the new one, you can see it looks like uh, screw, 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 screw. So you can see you got four screws, Phillips screws there. So you should be able to undo that those plates and pull these uh, copper wires back a little bit. And I'll show you that. And then on the other side, it looks like it's some kind of clip with an O-ring. And if you look inside here, uh, you can see that yes, it uh, appears to be what it looks like. All right, so we're going to begin to undo these four screws. Notice that the uh, lip comes back at you. And 
this last one's a little pain to get to. I'm kind of going at a slight angle because you got the uh, temperature probe right there. So you want to be careful. Don't strip it. Okay. And this one went up. Sorry. Went up like this. Alright, so for these you just kind of pull out on them. And they should pop out. There you go. On the back side of here, there's a clip. Let's see if I can get there with my fingers. No, I'm gonna need something. Uh, like you can see the see the clip back there, you can see the bottom of it right there. So I'll get to have to get some channel locks or something like that to try to squeeze the clip. Actually, it might might pop off the top. So let me. I'll, I'm going to mess with it, and we'll see what what happens. All right. Yeah. So the clip you pushed off the top, and now you can kind of pull this back, and now it's freed up. So you got to kind of maneuver this to get it out. Now there are wires attached to it, so once I get it kind of free, I'll have to trace the wires. All right. All right, the wires go to a zip tie, so uh, give me a second. I'm going to have to figure out how to get in there and cut them. And All right, so if you look, it's not actually zip tied. It's kind of like twist tied like a bread, so you can undo it. You don't need snips. Just a little bit of a pain to find it and see it. That way you'll be able to put it back together. All right, now that I got that undone, you can see where the wires go. Uh, basically, there's a press down. You pull that out. And there we go. There's the old part. Check it against the new part. Looks good. And we're going to put the new part in. I'm going to put, <clears throat> I guess I'll plug it in first and then put it uh, where we need to go. Uh, so make sure that the end is clean. Um, and it's got a gasket uh, right there on the end of it. I'll go start putting it in. All right, so I got it plugged in. Pull these out a little bit because I got to fish this thing back in here. Bit of a pain to do that. All right, once you get it relatively close in there, then All right, well, you see how the wires are on the right side? I want to pull these out. Make sure the wires go around that. There you go. It's very hard to see in here. All right, well. Okay, so what I want to do this thing back down towards me because right now it's over in the back doing dumb stuff and I want to put it into the uh, copper hole so that I can pull it back and then boom now it lines back up straight and I can push it in all right, so it's in there now. Um, the real question is, is I probably want the wires around there. So instead of pulling it back out, I'll just unplug the wires again and go back un under the temperatures. All right, get it back plugged in. 
All right, so now when I push it in real good, I take the clip and I need to fish this back on top of it to hold it in place. And it's, it's going to be impossible to show that on video. Um, and it's just it's hard to work in. So give me a uh, give me a second. And I'll I'll stop the video. I'll get it in place. And I'll show you. So I got the clip in. Um, you can see it right there. Basically, if you know it's in good, there's a um, on the old one. There's this uh, edge right here. So you want to be in between the valve and there, and that's that's where I am. So it's holding it in there. So that's good. Um, now. You're going to want to put the uh, clips back around the copper and you basically you're going to use the screws to kind of make sure you force them back in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put those screws in. Let's see if I can line this up so you can watch. Now let me get the camera off. Before you put the clips in, one of the things you want to make sure because when I was moving it they fell off. Is there's O-rings that go on, um, it might be hard to get on now that it's all, all the way off, but there's O-rings that go on these copper um, coils. And so, uh, in reality, I need to get those back on. And it's a little bit of a pain now that I got the, the valve clip. So you gotta be careful. You don't wanna pinch an O-ring or something like that. So once you get those back in one, then you can get it back in position where you want it. Right. Now, you're going to put the clip up over. And I want to drive the side that was a little bit tougher to get in first. I want to make sure it's lined up. trying to go back and forth so I stay out of the camera as much as possible with this. And you want to get it nice and tight in there so it's, you know, smashes that O-ring. All right, so we got both of those in here. So what I did learn is the gaskets can fall off or get left in the old one kind of right up in in there so you got to make sure you pull them all out i uh ended up using one of the wrong gaskets on here and i saw it hanging out the bottom so they both should be the smaller ones same size and then when you're trying to maneuver this in the valve there's a where the um the o-ring is on the on the side here that can easily fall off so just be careful you don't want it leaks uh, but now I went ahead and closed these valves here. I'll uh, put the cold cap back on. Make sure it's got the, now see, rubber fell out of it. So I'm going to put the rubber back in and screw it on. I got the hot cap that broke on the chain. Fix that later. All right, now you want to start putting the water back on so you can see if you got a leak. 
and I don't know why this valve is always hard as hell, but it is. All right. All right, so see, so far no leak, everything looks kind of good. We'll leave the cover off, go ahead and uh, plug it in. And then I'm gonna go run some hot water. I'll be up here and take. All it. right, so now you can see the hot water heater. You got good flame. Everything's working. Uh, appears to have no leaks. There's a little water on the bottom of it. You can see. Those uh, for disconnecting. There's nothing actively dripping. And I'm gonna put the cover on. That concludes another episode of Man Tips, presented by Talking Small Podcast. <laughs>